Um, uh, Anil is a friend of mine. He he uh, works in in Seattle. He uh, he has an excellent product called PeerCube. Um, I've been following Anil and his writings. He's made some of the some of the more astute observations um, uh, over the years that I've been covering this asset class. And so I just have a ton of respect for Anil, and I'm excited to hear what he has to say. Let's welcome Anil Gupta. Uh, thank you for inviting me, Simon. And my name is Anil Gupta, and I'm co-founder of PeerCube. And actually, you most probably enjoyed all the company presentations. We are different in a way. We never started out thinking of thinking of setting up a business. We started out. We were doing the lending club investment ourselves three years ago, and we needed tools. So I was using the spreadsheet, then my wife got interested and she said, spreadsheet don't work for her. So what, can you automate it? So I automated it, then our friends started to ask, can you, they use the tool? And that's how PeerCube was born. And we start, officially started in 2012, and now we have community of about close to 1,200 users. And in their portfolio, they have over $12 million, which they have lent out on Lending Club and Prosper. We have the users, our users have used our platform to make close to $1.7 in investment at Lending Club and Prosper. They have created their own loan filters on our site. Over 900 loan filters have been created, and they have used thousands of time. And continue to be new loan filters being created by our users. And we also have a custom analytics service, which mostly directed at the institutional investors and the high net worth individuals. Because we have, I believe, outside the lending club and Prosper, we have the most exhaustive data on their loans. And that, that's our key differentiation. We collect almost two gigabyte of data every day on every loans issued by the Lending Club and Prosper. And not only we collect that data as of today, we collected it as of yesterday, day before, for the past two years, and we save each and every data point. So our users can go back in time, find the date they want to look at, and they can, instead of doing back testing, they can do forward testing. They can see how many loans were listed and what their criteria met, how many got issued. Because not every loan listed is being issued. Actually, the statistics are less than 60% of the loans listed get issued in the end. And that, that's our key differentiation there. Second differentiation, we have for, consumer lending is a new market for retail lenders or individual institutions but it has been really old market for insurance companies and banks. So what we have done, we have taken the, their theory and practice of consumer lending and try to bu build the tools based on those uh, practices used by the actuaries and the banks. Uh, one of our main feature, which is used by our users is the portfolio analysis. So our users can upload their Portfolio, we have a as small of a, based on, for past two years, we have as small of a portfolio as 100 loans, and as much as user who has a 20,000 loans in their portfolio. And they can upload it to our site, they can slice and dice whichever way they want. And it has become much more helpful in making decisions about what kind of concentration risk they have, like what state they are in, Putting, giving out the loans too much, what happens in that state will impact a bigger portion of their portfolio. Like, are they issuing loans to the people whose credit score is falling because they become much higher risk at that point? So these are the kind of things they can do with our portfolio tool. Basically, they can slice and dice 100 different ways, figure out what kind of risk is being in their portfolio and how to manage that. Then we allow you to compare your portfolio with your peers. So we have a, what we call it, peer benchmark. You can compare to see how your portfolio is doing. And we provide the yield, like what your gross yield on your portfolio is, 
what's the actual loss rate you are encountering, and what's the net yield to you. And you can compare these same numbers with the other peers. Then we started out as a loan selection process. Basically, we wanted to filter loans. And that's the functionality we pro started out with, and that's users use a lot. And we instead of Lending Club provides 100 attributes. Prosper provides 500 attributes. Most of our users are not educated enough to know which of them are important. So what we did, we based on our data analysis, we picked out, handpicked the attributes which are which really influence the performance of the loans and put them on our side. So the users can use those to create their own filters. And not only they can create it, they can share with the other users. So it's a, basically we have peer filters where the users will share their filter and we also uh, aggregate the filters used by bloggers or published in other publications, we aggregate that. So any new user can get started with the, peer, with, with the filters, some basic filters which other people have created, and then they can modify it further. Uh, one of the things we are doing, what we're realizing, the loan selection, when you select by the attributes, you are narrowing the pool of your loan pool. So we are slowly, slowly moving toward a score-based selection, where we assign a specific score to the loan, and based on your loan cutoff, you can select the number of loans you want to invest in. Then we are also helping our users with the secondary market transactions. Once the loan has been issued, the things happen is the, some borrowers don't pay, some borrowers, something change in their life. Their, so FICO score being updated by the lending club, and we show that. And our own analysis showed that if FICO score dropped by 100, you have almost 80% of the chance the borrower is going to stop paying. So we provide those kind of filters for users to manage that. Then we have custom analytic services because we have such a huge data warehouse where we have collected data every day for the last two years. We use that to provide services to high net worth individuals and institutional clients. So some of the projects we did, like an institution came to us asking for risk and return profile for 60 months loan. Another one came to us, wanted to know what kind of, because borrowers don't uh, get penalized for paying early, so they wanted to know what kind of impact it has on their yield. And if that data could be used to identify the borrowers who are repeat borrowers, because Lending Club does not provide that info. So these are some of the comments we receive from our users, uh, telling us what they like, what they don't like. And you can see that. And I think I'm out of time. So if you have a question, quick question, you can ask, or you can talk to me. I'm around here. All right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.